So let's get to the email account management. So under the email account management, you're going to look at the login and the overview of the account. And then also we're going to look at uh, changing the email password. All right, so let's go straight to the browser here and see. Okay, to log into your email address, um, you will need to go to your domain slash webmail. Okay, so for my case, it will be vincecomfort.com forward slash webmail. All right. And uh, for the purpose of this video, I've created a new email address. There you are. So inside the username, you put in your email address. Come and then your password. Then login. Right, so everything is pretty straightforward, and um, you can always go around and uh, figure out stuff. Like if you wanted to send an email, you just come to Compose. Almost every uh, email client has that. But there are a few things that I wanted to show you in the settings. So first, we need to change our password. We need to be able to change our password. And to do that, you come down to settings. And uh, under settings, you have password down here. So just click on it. And then we will have the option to change. So to do that, you need to enter in your current password. Then you enter your new password then all you have to do is just save password do not match so if that's the problem that means your password the new password you're trying to set doesn't match uh, careful here now sometimes it's hard to type when you're talking okay so that that is all so we needed to talk about setting up a good um, password and Now, a good password, to set up a good password, you need to have one uppercase letter, all right? We need to have a lower a lowercase letter, and then we need to have a number, and we need to have a symbol. So, under symbols, we are talking about uh, exclamation, add hash, dollar sign, all those other symbols right and make it random don't use your phone number don't use part of your email address or the website domain or something make it something generic all right so for example you could do something like uh back three seven something like that the whole idea is it should not be easily guessed so that if someone knows you they don't think about your dog's name or probably your car model and use it to figure out your password and then the second thing i wanted to show you is um, under preferences changing the interface if you don't like the way your interface looks you still under settings you come to preferences and then you come to user interface 
okay so still under user interface you can change the date format if uh, uh, you like uh, your date month and year formats to be different you can choose out of this uh, same applies to time you can use 24 hour or you change to 12 hour clock and then a time zone it's on auto but you can choose so for my case it would be gmt plus three uh plus three see where that is africa kampala so there it is and then you go on and save uh additionally how you ab ab about how the interface looks we have these three options we have a classic we have elastic we have larry so right now this is the elastic version and if we are to go to the classic let's just save and see that's the classic version all right um we go back to settings interface and then let's try larry save this is how larry looks like okay so i, I like the i like uh sorry i like the elastic how the elastic version looks so let's just keep it there all right okay and then um the second thing this is now the third thing third thing i want to show you is in uh, composing messages so you have all these options under composing messages and it's uh, pretty uh self-explanatory but i like changing the automatically save draft time to every minute and um also here you can change the font if you want your to use a specific font for your email addresses and the sizes signatures automatically add signature always i'm going to show you again how to add signatures and then just come actually the main thing here is just to make sure that you save every minute so to save signatures you need to come to identities it's still under settings and uh, we create, you can edit that, double click on it. And then you put in your name, let's say it's uh, it's comfort. You have your email address and then organization, let's just say VC. And uh, reply to, if someone replies to the email, I want them to go to the, you can leave it blank. Uh, they will definitely reply back to your email address, but sometimes, just like filling it and then we set it as default this is what we'll use every time we try to create a new uh, email and then we have our signature all right so let's say best regards means comfort and if you have a logo you can click uh, a logo or a promotional image a promotional banner that you want to add to your signature you click on that and that will turn oops that is going to remove stuff so let's first save this and then we can come to this option which gives us now uh more formatting options and um we can add an image below so you just click on the image Let's say it was a logo. Um, you can browse. And then let's say let's look for my let's look for my logo here. Um, okay, so you just drag and drop it. Then you select it to get the link. And then uh, you can set uh, a custom size, but let's just leave it like that. And then we click on OK. So there it is. Uh, you can adjust the size, make it smaller. 
so this i don't like the extra spaces here so before importing this i could first uh, crop it out make it the right size and then import it but otherwise that's just how the process is and then you go ahead and save so once that's done let's try to compose an email here so here uh, you can see your signature came up but the problem is the logo we added is not here all right so that is because um our email is set to uh, text only so we need to go back to settings uh settings come to preferences under preferences go to composing messages so uh remember we have here compose html messages so we, it's never you need to change this to always so that uh, html tags can appear in our email address uh in our email so that is saved now when we go back to compose boom there you see it now the logo is up okay so you can put in your uh the receiver put in your subject type in your message and proceed to send so it, uh it's basically like any other email client that you use uh to attach a file just drag and drop it here or click on attach a file to open the window to to to, to add your file so basically that's all with uh email management um oh one thing i forgot someone asked me how to connect their email address with uh, their email account with uh with outlook so we're going to do with outlook connect with your outlook account and then also we'll connect with your gmail account so for outlook it's pretty straightforward um let me just do that outlook my outlook mm, okay All right so to add an account to your outlook this is outlook use just um open your account come to file you have the option of add account click on add account uh don't use the manual setup just just use this the email account uh you put in your name it's comfort let's get the email name paste it there and then uh, we have our password and we type password next So we let Outlook do the magic to connect. Um, here you have a security a security alert. Uh, it's from a trusted satisfying authority. This date is valid. The name of the security is invalid or does not match the name of the SAD you want to proceed. Uh, now this happens often and uh, just go ahead and uh, click yes okay as long as the security date is valid and it's uh, trusted so we go ahead and uh, accept it boom and there it is so if you want to add in another account you still uh, go through the same process but otherwise just click on finish and uh yep now you can choose between the accounts whatever account you need to use so there we are so again for gmail so I created another Gmail account also just for training purposes. VC test mail and uh, we're going to uh, add our name at vincecomfort.com email address to this account so that can to send emails as well. 
So to start the process, you come down to so come up to settings. Install settings. And then you want to come to accounts and import. All right. Okay, so send as send mail as so use Gmail to send from your other email addresses. So we come down here and uh, add another email address. Okay, we'll have that pop up. So you have your name again, you put in your email address. Let me just copy it here. Next step. So as you can see, the SMTP server is already filled in. We have the port. And um, now we need to put in our email address, the username, like how you would sign in using your webmail. And then you put in the password. Okay, the password here is not the Gmail account password. Okay, this is for this account. So after that, you can uh, keep the secured connection using TLC as it is, and then go on and click Add Account. Now, a uh, confirmation code will be sent to your webmail account. So let's just, uh, an email with a confirmation code was sent to name at vincecomfort.com. So we're going to go back to our round cube and uh, check mail. There it is. Um, confirmation code is here, so we'll just copy this and uh, take it, add it here, and then verify. Make sure you don't have any, you've not copied extra spaces, then that would be invalid. Make sure there are no spaces before and after. And then verify boom there it is okay so now you have added a name at vincecomfort.com to your gmail account to test it you can come to compose and then choose from here vince comfort now you have name at vincecomfort.com enter the receiver subject put in your email and uh, send it so it, the other person will not receive it as a VC test mail to, to at gmail.com, but it will come from this sender. And um, you can see every time you click on compose to compose a new message, you will have the initial Gmail account. But if you want to use your business email account instead of this as the default, all you have to do is uh, still under here, under the send mail as option, we make name at vincecomfort.com, we make it as our default. So we make it, click on make default. Now it is default. When you come back to compose, it will be the first to pop up here. All right. So basically that's all we have with the email management.